Okay, let's start. Rivet, Druzia, Cactala, Menus of Mark, Dove, Prejava, Moist Hi, everybody, it's Mark. Welcome to Classic Martial Arts today. We're going to go ahead and go up. Um, we're going to talk about thrusting with a shashka. We're going to dispel some myths and go over proper hand grips. And we're going to show you also how it applies to the Kinjo. All right, so let's get started. All right, so if you're going to stab and you're using a blade without a guard, which is traditional in the caucus, you really have to talk about some things. Okay, when people use like this and go this way to stab, the problem becomes is that you slide up on the blade when you hit a solid object. And there was a point made by um, a commentator on one of my videos, and I said, okay, well, that's true, but the problem was is when you don't understand the rest of the story, you don't know. All right, so we're not going to keep our grip like this. So what do we do? We have to change it. How does it get changed? Well, thumb goes to here. Put a finger here like so. So it looks like this. This now put, is put into the palm of your hand here. This is a very important note. But when I want to stab, I'm going to stab like this. And you see I have a lot of power that way. I can actually push Bob and push him over. So if I was to hit something solid, so you're not going to stab like this because, yes, it'll slide up on your hand. Again, what are you going to do? Stabbing motion was correctly done this way. That's in the palm of your hand. Finger like this. And I want to push. You can see I can push it over. All right, so let me show you with a shashka. All right, so again, here's the shashka. So if I'm going to stab with a shashka, yes, it's corrected. But if you stab the hard object, you're going to do this. So that's why in the old Russian, they would have a lanyard, and then this six inches would be kept up. Now, what else can you do about this? Well, I could change my grip from here to here. Now that helps, but you still have the problem as you start to slide. So how did the the Pontiff Greek solved it by going to this grip right here. Okay? So they would so they would change where they would stab to this position and they would push in. Now see, I could push him all the way back and drive it. Okay? So if I was actually going to have to stab and I'm say I'm grabbing to go around an object, I'm changing my grip to this. I go like this and I'm going to push and I can drive that all the way this way. And you see I have full control on my weight into it. So to the commentators, yes, that is correct. You don't stab this way because it does this. That is why the proper grip was done in this manner. And as you can see, it's good. So we're going to apply this this way. We're going to do the chop. We're going to push this way. Okay. So again, come on over here and see it from this angle. So we do what? We're meeting this guy. We're going to chop down and we push using the curve of the blade. It goes right around the other person. We chop here and I push and I augment this. Again, you can augment. Now remember, we can what? Chop. And we can switch our grip out. Okay? So if I need to stab, I can chop this way and push this way. If you notice, come around this side and see this? Look at my grip. Okay? I can move this. And this weighs 300 pounds. My blade flexes that point. So think about this. I can come in here go chop, augment, boom. And I'm pushing. That's what I'm talking about. Well, thanks for the questions. And you know what I'll say to you guys always? You know, the my trick my film. Thank you, my friends, for watching my film. Dos vidanya, nasta rovi. Goodbye to your healthy. Paka paka. Bye bye.